Hello, hello, my floss tube friends. Thanks again for coming back. I hope you guys have been well and got lots of stitching done. I got quite a bit done this week. Um, Cause you know, it's like, what else am I supposed to do? However, I think I will get either a crap ton done once the boys go back to school, thankfully both of them, um, or I'll get minimal done. So I did put in a job application for the coroner's office. Um, I haven't heard back yet. I'm planning on calling them tomorrow. Um, it's just a volunteer position, but hopefully, you know, they will be able to see my work ethic and maybe it'd be able to turn into a actual paying job. So we'll see. Um, yeah, leave it to McKenna to be the one that volunteers for the coroner's office. Um, there's like four different positions. I marked down all of them. Everything from receiving dead bodies, discharging, um, and then the investigative side, which you actually go out on the calls and collect evidence and start the process. And they kind of, how it was written up was kind of along the lines of like what I would do with the fire department in terms of how we would speak to the families regarding the body. Um, if the medical examiner was going to take the body because the death was suspicious. So fingers crossed, drink like a pirate, dance like a mermaid, damn straight. All right. So two videos ago, Joe Gregoire's, she made a comment, had a conversation with her daughter, daughter. Yeah, Joe, no need to waste your precious time and put sequins on pasties. Yeah, because I just buy them that way. So just keep stitching. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, those that are keeping track at home regarding those that carry singles. So I have been educated. I made a comment that only strippers carry ones. That is not true. We forgot drug dealers and drag queens. So there's three groups of people. Um, I got new items up in my Amazon store, Sincere Stitches. I cut prices on a few things as well. Remember, I always do free shipping. So go ahead and check that out. Now, the last video. I think it is because I put the word cleavage in the title of my last video, number 42. I have gotten messages and screenshots. Um, it was first um, Sarah Shears. You were the first one and then it kind of snowballed from there. She let me know that after watching my last video and when it's on autoplay you get a Indian girl. What? Not right now. Go away. Um, the woman's video is titled Typed of Cleavage. So it will just autoplay this type of cleavage. Um, so you're welcome. I'm sorry. I don't know. I wanted to see it myself. And so I let, I watched my last video and then let it go into the autoplay into the next one. And it came up like Selma Hayek wore a cleavage shirt to the emergency room. 
I think I took a screenshot, so I'll put both screenshots here. So look, your husbands might be totally confused or your wives might be totally confused. You're watching a floss tube video and then it goes to this cleavage. So PSA to everybody, I'm not liable for or responsible for any arguments, divorces, expensive purchases because you were caught watching types of cleavage videos. Um, let's just start. Shout outs. Off the Grid Needle Arts, Caroline. She is um, one third of the Fiber Talk ladies. Lovely, calming voice. So soothing. Um, she sh has a couple videos now. I think she just came out with her third one. Shows off her beautiful whips. So go ahead and go show her some love. Crafty Cat Stitcher, Kathy. Kathy, you had me at DIY framing. Girl, yes. Um, and she is working on a piece or completed. I have a note here. Tulips, praise. Gorgeous, though. Schoolhouse Stitcher, Jessica. Yeah, another instigator. Lives in a renovated schoolhouse. Jessica, you need to show us what the outside looks like and maybe like a tour so we can see how you got how you've changed. Um, and I want to see this chalkboard in your bedroom. Do you guys write things on it? Uh, another Georgia Stitcher, of course. I think we all just need to pack up and move to Georgia. Um, so I'll link the three of them down below. I think that's, yeah, that's all I got for notes. Um, still working on Skeleton Mosaic. Works by ABC on Etsy. She doesn't just have, Miss Arlene just doesn't have skeleton. She has other great, beautiful patterns. Um, but of course, this one called to me. So this is where I am at. Um, I have a little more of the white here to fill in. For the jug. Um, I think they're cheese wheels. I don't know. Peppermint, somebody called them. Um, I have to fill in those with white. And then I finished the three rows of kind of like a burgundy. Oh no, I have not finished it. Oh, because I ran out. That's right. I ran out of the kind of burgundy-ish color. So I just have one more row to finish. Then it calls for this white border here. I don't know if I'm gonna stitch that. I am not sure. But I'm also, I don't know how this happened because I could have sworn I started in the middle, but obviously I didn't. I mean, I have way, I have more than enough room. Um, so I think I'm gonna pass on the white frame here and just start on this rope design here and then no go on the white here as well. Um, so I think I'll have enough room. If I just go ahead and do that border, I'm more just worried on um, just on this on this side that I'll have enough. Um, but I think I will. I am stitching this on. Let me grab what I got here. Mm -hmm. 32 count dark cobblestone Lugana. It's a 13 by 18 piece. I absolutely love how the colors pop. And there's only four, five colors all together. Um, let's 
So yeah, worked on that. Uh, this was my pool piece for a while when I would take the boys to the pool. I would drag him along. Now, this is not Pepe. And he also, because it's a he obviously, because no respectable woman would pose in such a way. Okay, maybe me. But, this is Pepe's second cousin, twice removed. We don't know his name. So, yeah. But no, I was taking this to the pool um, and then I got a feeling to, oh, I don't have it. My linens and threads stitch along. I started taking that because um, that was just one color to take and I wanted, I was like three months behind so I wanted to bust those out. So I'll show you progress on the linens and things or linen threads stitch along next video. And then look who decided to come out and play. It's Massimo. Look at this. He decided he wanted to get stitched on. Now, I got an email the couple days ago regarding the state fair. Doesn't say how many entries I'm limited to. Everything is a dollar to enter. I have until like September or something. And then I think I take the stuff in, in October. I gotta write everything down. Massimo may want to be entered into said state fair. And I'm thinking that's a hell of an idea. And when I get closer to figuring out what I want to enter, I'm going to do a video. Obviously nightmare, hands down, yes. And I forgot who I saw this on Instagram. Usually at night I'll just push the like little search icon down at the bottom and it just brings up a variety of pictures from Instagram all over. And there was a woman, she had stitched Nightmare. It was hung up, she was pointing to it and smiling and I clicked on it and she had won, I zoomed in on the photo, Best in Show with Nightmare. I want Best in Show. I want Best in Show. So, Nightmare for sure. This, I'm thinking a strong yes. Um, so this is all I got. I did a lot of this this morning. Um, did this leaf last night. Husband went out, so it was just me and floss tube and stitching. Um, but that's okay, because I went out Friday night. Oh, that was fun. So I have a, where, do I even have the, oh, I have the chart, look at this. I don't need to even guess for you people. So finish up that circle. There's a part under it. And then a motif on either side um, and an owl. So this is a lion. I know a lot of you guys have been looking for it. Um, it was a clearance item off of one, two, three for me. And then you guys fell in love with it and then it's hard to find, but it's out there. Um, and these, uh, motifs down here are different from the ones up above, which I totally love because otherwise I would not stitch it because I'm not going to stitch the same motif, especially them being this big and intricate in multi-thread colors, twice. Um, so, hopefully, maybe, I can get that done this week. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's all I've been working on. 
go in between those three pieces. Let's see, what else? Take that back out to my room. Um, gifts. So, the great Julie McConnell, Reflections Framing. We all watch her. And Dan the Man. She sent me, she said that, I don't have her note, um, that she was on Etsy looking for something else, came across these coasters, said that they looked like me, asked her husband, he agreed, so they came to me. I'm gonna have to agree. Now my son says no, because I'm not in a seashell. But he says if I curled my hair and put it up, um, that it would, but he says that it does because her eyes and my nose. I'm trying to get the same look. She kind of has resting bitch face. Maybe? Yes? I think so. Um, so I'm going to put one here, Julie, in my stitching room and one um, in my stitchy spot because usually I'm always drinking something, hot chocolate, whatnot. These are mine. Love these. Thank you so, so much. Um, then, lovely gift from Matt. You can find him um, on Instagram at Trucking Stitcher. Please follow him and give him shit that he's not making videos. I ask him nicely all the time. Um, so he sent me from Unconventional Stitcher on Etsy this needle minder, which is so funny because I have that same outfit. Um, actually, let me switch it around this way and see if that shows up. Like a gypsy lady holding a skull. Yeah. Matt, that's totally me. You know that. That's why you got it for me. So thank you, Matt. Um, awesome. But yeah, Matt, come on. You can do videos. You can, you can film them while you're driving. It's not unsafe. Just put it on auto control. Um, then I won... Ken's uh, Crafty World. I'll link it down below. I mentioned him in my last video. He was doing a giveaway. Um, pick a mirror chart. And if you won, he would send it to you. I chose and have always loved at the Met. Evergreen Needle did it, and, but she did it conversion. She made hers more Egyptian, which I totally love. Uh, but I also love the original. So this will be going in my stash. I probably have fabric, of course, to stitch on it. I absolutely love it, though. Um, I know mirrors can seem to be daunting. I think some of them are that have you know, really intricate beading and detail, but I think I was attracted to this one because it doesn't seem, a lot of the colors are in blocks. So I think it's doable. It's not crazy confetti stitching. Um, that's what also attracted me to Raven Queen, which was kindly gifted to me as well, um, and Tree of Hope. So, I look forward to starting this. I think it's gorgeous. So thank you, Ken, very, very much for that. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. This is one, two, three. This was in the clearance as well. Dutch sampler I picked up. Love that. Um, and then all that fabric that I have, I'm having a hard time figuring out what 
the count is. Um, and I'll turn the camera around and show you guys what I've done last week. Um, but I bought the complete cross stitch gauge. Um, I think it was like five bucks. And what I also like, it has the full list of DMC, JP coats and anchor, um, floss color code. So I love that. Um, and this is nice because you can just line it up um, and it tells you what count the fabric is. Um, so hoping this will make my organizing of what is what um, faster because I'll show you what I got going on. Thrift store. This was two bucks. It's a needlepoint cushion cover. No idea what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about framing it. Um, I'll show you my fast selection of frames as well. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just going to frame it. So I love it. And that was in a bag. So this was in the same shelf up above where I found that red bell pool tucked up above, up on the shelf. And this was in a bag. And all I saw sticking out was just this front part. So people, look down below, look up above, go through stuff. You're bound to find something. Got this as well. Another needlepoint. Girl, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, nothing written. Ghetto ass framing. That's okay. It's okay. I appreciate ghetto ass framing. It's all good. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a way if I hang this or maybe I can get a stand. Um, I'm always afraid to attach hardware to frames like this. Afraid that they'll split. Um, so, but yeah, I love that. I know the tag said eight bucks, but I believe it was 35% off that day. All right, big news, ready? Might be bigger, no, nothing's bigger than my, my, uh, my shoe buy. So, um, hubby, AKA Drunk Joe, but she just doesn't learn people. He is going to Thailand, yes, the Thailand, next month for 10 days. Oh, you would say as a business trip? No, but he'll probably figure out, he's going to figure out some way to write it off. Um, with two guy friends, yeah. Now, the wife that I am, the person that I am, the woman that I am, go. I don't care. Um, we don't, I know that I joke to you guys about the boat is the gift that will always keep on giving to me, but I seriously do not keep score. Um, we are fortunate enough that if we need something, we are able to purchase it, um, I'm not a huge spender on anything. Cross stitch is the thing that I spend money on as of recently. Um, but otherwise, I don't spend a lot of money on myself. I get my nails done. I try to do it once a month. Um, but I don't keep track if he makes a purchase then I feel like dollar for dollar, I have to make a purchase. It just, I've never been like that. So he's gonna go to Thailand and he had asked me if it was okay for him to go. He just wanted to be, he needed to be, 
convinced to go. I told him, look, if you're going to go, you need to be there. Don't worry about the kids. Don't worry about me. You don't need to find a way to check in with us every day. Um, you know, if you're going to go, go. Be there. Enjoy it. Um, so he booked the tickets, figured out all that stuff. So, yeah, he'll be gone for 10 days. And then he asked, what do you want out of it? Oh, boy. Don't you ask someone that. Um, I got a big thing on my list that I want. Um, you guys could probably guess. Um, but I have a hard time spending ten to twelve thousand dollars on me in one single so that will be a you dug yourself a grave and you're gonna effing pay for it so i'm gonna go spend that money so that's like on the back burner um i looked at chatelaine's i don't know i went through all of the, her patterns i did not see anything that really spoke to me. However, then I was on eBay one night and came across this long dog sampler. I'll put a picture here. Okay. What did I love about it? The bright colors, first off, yes. Hopefully the colors are as bright as what that shows. Um, so I'll be ordering that um, and can eat that up. And so I plan to start that, don't know when. Um, I have Dragons of Sumatra, which I would like to start the day he leaves. Um, and then hopefully get it done while he's gone kidding kidding um but the whole tie inspired i think that that would be a really cool gift kind of stitch it for him and then he could put it in his office um so i think i'm gonna get that for sure and then we were in his office one night after he had asked me that and he was on the sergio rossi website and looked at the shoes and there wasn't anything. He says that he wants to have a sign off. He wants to say in what shoes I get. He cannot stand red shoes. I would love the pair of red shoes. Um, but he says that he gets a vote, which I really don't see how. Um, and red shoes are a no-go. He's not even going to be in the same hemisphere as me when he's gone. So, hello, credit card. All right. So, stay tuned to see what I get out of the husband going to Thailand. Um, all right. So, I'm going to switch the camera around and show you guys what um, I did this past week. Thanks to the lovely, lovely, kind, over-the-top gift that I got, um, all that fabric, because I needed to organize my stuff anyway. Um, my closet was a disaster, and I needed to switch it up. So come with me, kids. Cleaned out a lot of this. Um, moved the books down, and I had... Um, cross stitch stuff in here that I moved. So I will show you guys. Oh my God, you guys. Okay. So in here, um, so all my hoops I have hanging and this is one of the, like the bike hooks that you can have in your um, garage. Um, and I had Joe hang up one of those. This is all of my business stuff. Um, and then down here, um, 
giveaway box. Here are my framed Bad Series Neighborhoods, which kids in school, I plan on repainting that bathroom. And I did see Ink Circles is coming out with a sixth one, which I remember I did say, so I'm happy about that because it'll look better odd number. Well, even, even number than odd. Um, printer, crap floss. I got rid of a ton of stuff, so I'm much happier with how that looks. Um, all right. Then, over here, I feel like I should wear my heels today. I feel like Vanna. Um, this cabinet here, shelves, was a Hobby Lobby score for $40. Clearance, um, originally like $230, which is like, it's crap wood from China, no way. But $40, bucks, they had said $60, um, but then the guy came back to me and said $40. So I said, load it up in my car. My plethora of frames. This is my own personal frame shop in here. Um, some mats as well, loose glass. Um, and then how I've organized um, my shelves here. So here are my three of the Barbara Anna New World series. Um, I'm pretty sure there's two more that I still need to stitch. My collection of DMC. This tin has um, DMC that is full skeins extra. Um, what do I have in here? See, now I'm trying to figure out how to do this to show you guys. You're going to just be all over the place. Um, so in this box, oh, Bobinated Thrift Store DMC. Um, and then in the back, I have all my collection of postcards or letters that I get from you guys. I had them on the board next to me, but it was getting really heavy. Um, hard anger piece I found, and then those are the two boxes of the green 701 that I plan on using for, uh, Dragons of Sumatra. Variegated thread. Um, my pearls that I need to go see if they're real. I think they are. Um, a color bobbin that I have no idea what the color is, so I need to take this and match it up at Hobby Lobby. Loose needles, so use a certain count with a certain needle. It's kind of just whatever I feel works and feels good to me. So in here, I just have loose needles. Um, and then my box. These are all my good variegated threads. The stuff from Maddox Stitcher I have in here. Weeks. Um, so I have them all in there. Then, um, all my charts and binder are my magazine cutout ones. Finished, kitted up a page for my, um, linen and thread stitch along. And have yet to be stitched patterns. My huge roll of Ada that I scored at the thrift stop store. And this is how I'm organizing my fabric. So this is definitely going to be a two-handed job. So I'll see if I can show you guys. Um, all right, I have you on my chair. So I had a... <laughs> Let's not talk like that. 
Um, so I had a stack of fabric that I had kind of accumulated and then I had a stack of just like crap stuff. Um, crap stuff, I mean odds and ends, unknown pieces that I bought at the thrift store or whatever. So I put all of those into my sewing box that I had found. So this is all fabric from the thrift store that I found, cross stitch pieces. Um, so that's what I have all in here, majority Asia. Behind that, I have my rolls, Charles Craft or whatever else I had found, um, and my other two Hobby Lobby store fabric. Um, so that's kind of like my rolls of fabric. Um, so I spent an evening going through all of the fabric that I was gifted, organizing it into the, the different counts that it was, and then including in my fabric that I had that I knew what counts they were. These plastic bins were on sale at Michael's for five bucks. They were outside of the store, um, just in case maybe that's how the setup is where you guys are. They were five bucks each, and they are for scrapbook pages, scrapbook paper, which measures 12 by 12. Um, I wanted something that I could see um, because sometimes just looking at a fabric inspires you. I didn't want just boxes where I wouldn't be able to see what was in it, even though I would label the outside. So I picked up six of these, hoping that it was enough. It was enough. So um, open up. And I have just roughly, you know, here's like a 25 count and all my 26 counts, um, 25, which now I need to switch that because that's going to make my OCD crazy. Um, here are 20s. Now, some of you might be like, you have staples in your fabric. Okay. I know a lot of you guys don't like that. This here, I did that. Um, I used to scrapbook, so I have a ton of like just random pieces of um, paper cut. So I've been using those. The fabric that I got, a lot of it was labeled in bags, which I didn't want it in bags. Um, or some of the fabric actually had like an adhesive sticker, which I don't know how that would be over time if it would take out some of the threads later on peeling off the sticker um, or leave some sort of like residue. So I would rather have a staple at the top of my fabric where it won't be shown um, because it'll be cut off or framed so you wouldn't see the hole anyway. So, um, I, yeah, I just rewrote it. So 20 count and whatever the color or whatever information it was, I didn't put down the fabric measurements. Nobody's got time for that. Um, and then here I have the larger counts, um, 32s. Here, um, here's some 35s, mink, blue jeans, the two pink color and blue, those were nicely gifted by Danielle. Oh. Um, 28 and 30 counts. Um, you know, and if you do get some fabrics from 123, they come with the staples, and I don't mind that. I don't. So yeah, figured out everything that was 28 count that was already pre-labeled um, as that way. So put that all together. Here are my 30s. Um, let's see, let me put 
these back. I love how I can see everything. Um, I feel a lot more inspired going through everything. I did some, um, sent out a few packages of stitchy kindness of fabric and just some odds and ends things that I want to use. So I feel like what I have here, I will use, um, which is a great feeling. I know what I have. This is the bin that I need to go through and figure out what count fabrics these are. Um, and there's a ton in here and they're gorgeous. Um, so that, this is the reason why I bought that gauge, which I'll just put over there. So I know what I have. Um, let's see. 36 counts, 40 counts. I can't wait to use this barn wood. That's gorgeous. Um, murky, exemplar. Um, and then my small counts, 14, 10, and then a ton of 18s, which I got a lot of these 18s and 28s um, the last time I was at Stitcher's Paradise in Vegas. They had a fabric bin of rolled up fabric, just rolls of fabric um, for like five bucks. So I grabbed quite a few of those. So I have a nice assortment. Um, bottom shelf here. Um, this is fabric that I can use to, I think this is just like really wonky pieces of fabric cut. A couple journals. Joe, this is all I got. Three journals. Don't send me any. Um, Cal's project that he's working on, um, which I should see if he wants to get that done because then he could add that into the fair. That'd be cute. Little fox. So I told him that this is like his little project bag. Um, the car accident box from hell um, that Farm Girl nicely sent me. And I think I have what I'm going to use on the top. And I'm going to stain it as well. Um, so that hangs out on the bottom. And then all my um, project bags um, that are empty. What? Huh? Did I hear ta somebody talking about these Halloween ones? Okay, let's let's look at them. So, made this flower one, um, rose one, and points for lining up the flowers. Um, okay. Two bags were made from one table runner. Table runner, people. This was um, a table runner that I found at Tuesday morning. I had never been in there, but I know some of you guys have shopped there and found some good things. So I went in there, had grabbed another table runner, kind of like a grayish blue damask. Went around the corner, saw these hanging up, took both of them. That's all they had. I would have taken more. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think the table runner was like 35 inches in length, cut it in half, folded it up to where I was happy with, down the sides, done. Done. And look how nice that looks. Love this fabric. Love it. Um, so because I have two runners, I got two of the same bags out of them obviously. So, giveaway time. Um, let's pick, oh, now I gotta pick, pick which, well, I guess it doesn't matter because I have two of each. Um, 
let's do this one. So when you see this, you will always think of Pepe, like he's looking at you. I love the bottle. Um, here's what the back look bat, back looks like. Um, love the huge spider. So giveaway. Just put nothing funny this time because I'm just thinking about this up the top of my head. No. Okay. Because I love your guys' responses to my questions. I think that's the best part is hearing the comments from you guys. And some of you guys are quick. You guys are on it. You're on it. So with the husband going out of town, what should I buy? Because he's going to Thailand. Let me know. I, I know you guys are laughing already. Um, and your comment will then get you enrolled for the giveaway for the bag. And I will do a drawing um, in my next video, um, which I'll put for, I don't know, Friday. Friday I'll pick a winner. So let's say, no, I'll do a video on Saturday. So you have until Friday midnight to leave me your comment. And then Saturday when I do a video, I'll randomly pick one of you guys. Um, I hope you liked this video, seeing my wonderfulness. Um, I thank you guys so much for always coming back and watching me subscribing, sharing my videos. You guys are awesome. Whether you do videos or you don't, um, it's that simple. All right, guys, have a great Sunday and I will catch you guys later. Bye.